Hi everybody, Patrick here from www.engineeringshock.com and www.electroniclessons.com. This video uh, is, is a, uh, serves as a demonstration for some of our uh, supercapacitor balancing circuitry. We have 2.7 volt capacitor boards and 2.5 volt capacitor boards. Some interesting things about these boards is uh, they're placed in series. Each capacitor has its own balancing circuitry. The series bank value for the 2.7 volt capacitors is 16.2 volts. What I've done here is I've placed six 4.7 farad 2.7 volt capacitors in series. So my series bank value is about 783 uh, millifarads at 16.2 volts. Very low. The maximum capaci series capacitance is 600 farads. So for demonstration purposes I put some inexpensive capacitors on, on the board. They're very easy to put together. You just need to put the capacitors in the right holes. There's plus and minuses. And as I said, each capacitor has its own balancing circuitry. So when the voltage on any of these capacitors reaches set 2.7 volts, uh, it starts to discharge uh, down to bel just below 2.7 volts to protect the capacitors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a demonstration. Uh, I've got my power supply set for a uh, charge of uh, 1 amp charge at 20 volts. Of course, it's not going to charge past 16 volts because the supercapacitor um, uh, uh, balancing circuitry is going to come into play. But you can charge up to 3 amps. Don't charge it higher than 3 amps because this, the, char the discharge circuitry is meant for 3 amps or under. So let me just give you a demonstration. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my power supply. It's set for 20 volts charge at 1 amp. So uh, flip it on and we'll watch. You'll actually hear a high-pitched, high-frequency uh, buzz when the supercapacitor balancing circuitry starts doing its thing around 16 volts. Slowly charging. 5 volts. 10 volts. 15 volts. And there we go. So now the suit, you can actually, I'm not sure if you can pick up, pick up on it, but the supercapacitor balancing circuitry is starting to come into play. Now what I can do is, if you're interested, um, to make sure that things are going okay, is you can actually use your multimeter and probe each capacitor, and you'll actually notice that they're resting at around 2.65 volts each. Now if we switch to the current that's being consumed right now, we're consuming one amp of current, and that's all being discharged through the supercapacitor balancing circuitry. So now our bank is charged to a ref, 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 roughly 16.2 volts or in that area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off, unplug it, and I'm going to stop the video and show you some, uh, some measurements on the multimeter. Okay, so now I'm still charging, but the voltage is not going past 16.2 volts because of the supercapacitor balancing circuitry. I've just got my multimeter leads on the, on the, uh, on the bank positive and, pos and negative. So it's keeping it, all of these, each set of balancing circuitry is discharging the capacitors to make sure that they don't surpass their value. So they're all protected. So if you have a solar array, it's you know, charging at a maximum of two or three amps, you're gonna be fine. Again, don't charge with more than three amps or else you're gonna find some, you're, you're gonna be in trouble so lastly I'll I'll uh, unplug this and I will show you me measuring each capacitor so this is one of the capacitors in series it's not charging past 2.63 volts let's try another one 2.62 volts 2.63 volts, and so on. So if we were using the 2.5 volt bank, we'd be using 2.5 volt capacitors, um, and that would our bank value would be about uh, 15 volts. So each capacitor would not be surpassing uh, 2.5 volts. Anyway, that's the balancing circuitry for you. The balancing circuitry itself, depending on, on what uh, current you're charging at, will get a little bit hot. There are mounting holes in all four corners. Uh, so you can mount them. I suggest mounting them above anything flammable. Not that it's going to, or anything that can melt. They get pretty hot, but it's, it's designed to get hot. It's dissipating energy. At this point, it's dissipating several volts at one amp charge. Anyway, if you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching.